Do you like simple free audio unit plugins that you can use on your iPhone or your iPad to make your mixes sound cool? Well, guess what? Baby Audio have just released a couple of plugins, the Magic Switch and the Magic Dice, and they're both free. They're both awesome. So in this one, we're going to have a look at this one here, the Magic Dice plugin from Baby Audio. Let's go. Now, this is one of the most unique and fun plugins that I've used in a long time. If you know anything about me, I don't like to play around with a whole lot of knobs and dials. I like something that is just simple, fun to use, and has good results. And that's what Magic Dice does here. It's a reverb, delay, echo kind of plugin. It creates its own sort of space. But here's the thing. There's no settings to play with here. You hit this button and you roll the dice. And every time you roll the dice, you get a different sound. Yeah, it's a weird concept, but it's super cool. Let's dive in and take a look. Now, if you caught the previous video about Magic Switch, we're going to do something similar here with Magic Dice. So let's try here on some drums to start with, and we'll go to Plugins and EQ and hit the Edit button. We're going to add it in. We're going to add it in there, and we're going to come on down until we find Magic Dice. Now, with this one, we just hit the button there, and we can roll the dice there. Every time you roll it, you get something different. So let's uh, solo this drummer track and uh, come into the plugin and uh, see what it's going to do to Kyle here. There's an interesting one for Kyle. Let's roll the dice. Oh, that one's not what I'd really go for. We got some sort of reversed reverb going on there. That one's got some nice sound there. If we bring it up in the mix. Again, you can just use it a little bit of subtly mixed in there. It's just making the drums crack a little bit more, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I like the fact that I don't have to think. If you know anything about me, it's that thinking is my enemy. No, not really. But it is cool to just have something else do the thinking and just try things. It's like when you get a plug-in and you just play with the presets, but you don't have any control over it. You just go, yep, roll it. Oh, okay, it's good. We'll go with it. And then we'll leave it. All right, let's uh, let's try this on some vocals, shall we? And see what this does. Because this is what I've been looking forward to doing it with is a vocal sound. So we'll come in here. We'll hit the uh, add button there. And we'll put on some magic dice. I have too many. I need to remove some of these that I don't use anymore. So we'll solo this vocal and then we'll jump into here and again it's going to apply a random one we hit play that's a kind of cool reverb sound i must admit again if we bring that back into our mix and uh, just bring it down in the mix a little bit so it's not quite as intense in fact that combined with the magic switch that we did in the last video would actually be pretty cool so yeah check that one out as well if you want to but we could again roll the dice here and see what we get next I like it. It's probably not going to work on this one, but I really like it. Let's hit the dice again and see what we get. You call it truth, I call it opinion. I like that one. Listen to that one. So worry about wrong, we forget about right. It's got a bit of like thick and slapback delay kind of thing going on with this one. This Let's bring it in the mix. Yeah, cool. Don't trouble yourself. Very nice indeed. Now, I need to tell you something, and that is that uh, by the time you watch this, it may have already been fixed, but I did try this on guitar, and I don't know whether it's the, the tone of the guitar or the amp I'm using or a garage band thing, but it didn't work. Let's give it a try here live because uh, we'll see if it's actually going to work this time. Last time it just cut out, and that can happen. It's, uh, it's often when new plugins come out, especially in garage band. So uh, I will let the baby audio know f folks know if this is the case, but let's solo this and we'll hit the play. Yeah, so you get that cut out. Whenever you get that happen where it cuts it out and there's no sound there, and then look to fix this, all we need to do is remove the plugin. So it's definitely that plugin that's doing it. Again, it's free, so uh, you can't really argue with the price. And I'm sure that the, the folks at Baby Audio, once I report that, they'll be able to look into it and see what's going on there. But how cool is this? Throw it on everything. I only touched the surface here, but you can go away and explore it. Put it on your keys, your synths, your basses, your percussion, whatever you like. It is a very cool plugin. It is free, and uh, go and experiment with it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, you can check out the other video all about Magic Switch. That's also there down in the description. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the next one.